Today, I have a Cisco 9800L series wireless LAN controller, uh, brand new in the box. This is the compact form factor, so a little bit smaller box than you would expect for a full-size rack mount unit. Uh, we're going to open it up, talk a little bit about the, the speeds and feeds, and uh, take it from there. So, if you're new here, hit subscribe. Otherwise, let's dive into it. All right, as you open the box, you're going to see a couple different things inside. There is going to be a folder with some licensing information. Keep, a, uh, keep an eye on that. There's some basic compliance information in uh, you know a dozen different languages, so discard that. We have the power supply. This unit is the smallest form factor, so you have an external power supply in this case. There is a power cord. There are the rubber feet in case you're going to sit this on top of a uh, desk or cabinet or something like that. So know that those are available. And then for the main event, here is the wireless LAN controller. As we pull the foam off and uh, pull this system out of the bag, you will notice it is not uh, terribly unlike the the prior uh, predecessor unit uh, in appearance, but you will notice there are a couple different things going on here. First of all, we have four uh, multi-gig ports, uh, 2.5 to be exact, uh, four of those. And then this unit, there's actually two units, has the SFP ports that do 10 gig as well. Uh, alternative, alternatively, you can get this with uh, 10 gig multi-gig uh, uplink ports uh, for you, depending on your application. We have a console port, both USB and uh, your traditional blue cable option. And then there is a redundancy port and a service port as well. You can deploy these with a stateful switchover setup, two, two controllers uh, in a uh, high availability type scenario. So uh, be aware of that. On the back panel, there's simply just the plug for the power, uh, and uh, like I said, you have the power brick to connect that way. Now you may be saying, wow, that's a small wireless LAN controller, it probably doesn't support that many APs. It actually goes up to 250 APs per the, the data sheet uh, with up to 5,000 clients. So uh, it's small but mighty as far as wireless LAN controllers go. If you're familiar with the prior generation wireless LAN controllers, those were based on uh, AeroS. This unit is actually, uh, the software is based on Cisco's iOS XE. So I know what you might be thinking, uh, is it converged access, kind of re-swizzled? Uh, no, this is rebuilt from the ground up to address uh, the SD access type needs. So uh, it does support both the Wave 1 and Wave 2 access points. The um, you know, the 9100 series access points, uh, the latest from Cisco. So, uh, you know, this would be a great design to leverage that technology. A couple other uh, odds and ends. This is a fanless unit. So if you have a, uh, an office space where, you know, extra noise is a concern, this is a good option. Likewise, uh, if you have a very small deployment, these ports in the front will do PoE uh, as well. Four access points, not uh, super scalable, obviously, but, um, it is an option nonetheless. Maybe a great unit to uh, use for proof of concepts if you're actually proving out possibly a larger deployment. I mentioned earlier that these units can be deployed in a high availability configuration. So what you can do is get two of them, put them side by side, and I actually have a rack mount unit here that, uh, that these units lock into. So you can put two of them side by side, cable them up, and uh, take up only a single rack unit. We're going to open that up next. All right, so I'm opening up the rack mount unit. I have a large outer cardboard box. Inside, we have another cardboard box with foam on it. So I'm going to try and get this unpackaged. As you take this out of the box, you'll see that there's a couple other components inside of the bag. So we're going to open the bag up and get those out. So the mounting hardware was a box inside of a box and actually a bag inside of a bag. So we're getting into the, uh, the goodies here. There is a pack of rack mount tabs that you'll use to mount this uh, into a rack. This thing is actually more of a shelf. So we have a couple different mounting options here. 
We have a, a cable retainer, we have a couple different screw options, and we have some Velcro strips to manage the cables. All right, with the mounting tray out of the box, you can see that there are tabs on the tray that match the bottom of the wireless LAN controller. You simply uh, attach, slide it uh, into place. Once you have the controllers attached to this panel, you can put the, the two side by side. You will mount this uh, either on the front with the, the, it is actually a 2U section just to give it some more support or there are rack mount tabs in the bag that you can use if you wanted to, you know, put a, a put this in a two post rack and, and mount it centered and kind of balance the weight out that way. So, um, you know, use your discretion on that. The back here has some attachment points that you can then strap the power bricks down with the Velcro, route the cables, and then last but not least, there is a air deflector that seems to fit in here in such a way that any hot air coming from the controllers goes up and over the, uh, the power adapters. So uh, check the installation guide, make sure you have that right, but it uh, doesn't make a ton of sense because the unit's fanless, so the air is not gonna be coming out of there very quickly. With that being said, this has been an unboxing of a 9800 series wireless controller. If you have questions, comments, leave them in the comments section below. And uh, I wanna thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon.